Uh, my name is Nadia Freund. I'm a founder of Nadia Beauty Nail Academy, a magnetic head distributor and educator for North America since 10 years. It is 10 years this month since I started to communicate with Magnetic and um, learn some wonderful people, including Natalia Gritsenko. We make a couple um, Instagram chats together. So please go to my Instagram, uh, Magnetic Shop, and um, follow us so far. Next Wednesday, we have a live chat, but I also post them on YouTube. So just follow me. Um, okay. You just praise. Years ago, Magnetic started to uh, sell glitter sprays, and it was one of the runners and absolutely best sellers. And I really like them. And the possibilities are endless. So what is a glitter spray? Glitter spray comes in a bottle like this. When you get a glitter spray, sometimes you have a feeling that it runs out here. So since I have the bottle in the hand, I will tell you right away. So you don't have to wait until the end of the webinar. If you have a problem with the glitter spray and it runs out or you spray and it just all over the place, it shouldn't happen. So what you do very carefully, take, open the bottle like, like this, leave the, the glitter inside and make sure that these white things are centered. Let me change the camera. It's always a hustle. Does it focus? Yes, it does. Perfect. So these little things on the side sometimes slip over like this. And then what happens is the whole glitter gets inside without any stopper. And that's why you have so much glitter coming out. So just close it. Get all the leftovers inside. I will check the uh, later or the zoom so we, you can see me. And close it back and use it. It also says on the new bottles that you have to shake them well. So it says here, shake them well. So when I start to use it, every time I tap on my table. Like this. So it settles all the glitter down. And then it, also if there's anything inside of this um, spray sprayer, then uh, it, it will come down and then you will have very, very smooth application if you doubt always uh, check first but i had never problems every time i would clop like clap up top top and it works so that is the one problem that happens sometimes and if you fix it once then it's always good okay so let's start with some tips i prepared for you to show you so my favorite and the easiest one is, of course, the full coverage. Like this. You see this beautiful glitter? I have it in different colors I will show you later. Uh, but the most common in the salon oh my God, where are, they? Go. are the fades. Um, let me get into the camera. Here you go. The glitter fade. Can you see that? It's two different colors and you can see the glitter fade. The glitter fade from the cuticle is amazing. It, it makes a very, very soft, beautiful look and the focus still doesn't work. I don't like the focus. Hang on, that's better. And I will move the camera a little bit. Oh, here you go, I have to move a little bit myself. So I hope you can see it good. So let's uh, do them, and I will, of course, put my gloves on. And tell me, how are you guys doing? How is um, the business right now? Um, because I know that many salons are very, very slow. So let's chat a little bit in the chat room. And I will, in the meantime, prepare some tips. Um, let's take a darker color so you can better see it. This will be Plumalicious. Okay, the dusty. I wiped all the bottles, but not this one. Oh, and I didn't mix it well. Hmm. 
Mm, of course. I haven't used this color for a long time. And this is something that always happens when you don't use your colors for a long time. Let me mix the border very nice. That's better. And of course the background is shiny. That's why it's also shrinking a little bit. It's okay. And I will prepare one more tip with the same uh, color so you can see the difference. Actually, this color is very cool to use for another design. So it was answering, so busy. I went full time and new clients are consistent. So blessed. That's fantastic. Congratulations. I really hope that everybody can catch up uh, to the Christmas time because I know that many salons here in Canada are very, very slow. Um, so well, the pandemic wasn't good for any businesses. Actually, one of the ways to apply it is uh, into the wet gel polish. So here I'm using a color. And then before I go in the lamp, I will take, actually, I will open today a white gold, very beautiful color. It comes also in a, in, in a package with a little inlay saying how to use it. So cure, not cure, do what not to do. Love it. As you remember, I'm clapping a couple times. And now, holding it under the angle like this, I'm very gently applying glitter on the edge of the tip or of the nail and let it fade from flying away. Usually I'm using working with gloves. That's why I can just do like this. So I'm kind of tapping the glitter inside the nail. If I don't do that and some glitter sticks out, you, I can file it afterwards. But you see the fade is easy and there is no garbage on the table. The other gel, I cured already uh, two layers and then we decided with the client that we want uh, to use some glitter spray which is not a big deal. We just take a gel polish base and top or any other top coat. Apply a very thin layer. It is nice to have something very um, thin. If you have a thick top coat, it is harder for the glitter to stay in it. Okay. And then I'm doing the same, but going with with an angle like this right into the cuticle because it is cosmetic grade glitter you can apply it on the body and on the skin so it's not dangerous for your client can you see that it's a very beautiful fade just adding a little bit more here. And again, uh, while on a client you can't really touch, uh, you can always go with a wooden stick or cuticle pusher if there is anything uh, that needs to be fixed. Going back into the light. And here I'm just using top coat. I prefer to use a little bit thicker top coat. So it covers nicelier and levels better. So this one is Flex and Shine or Improved Supreme Finish. By the way, as, uh, next time, next Wednesday, we're talking about um, top gels with Natalia on my Instagram. So please join us at 10 a.m. PST, uh, Pacific time, on Wednesday, because she's in Ukraine. We have to do it mornings. And if you can't watch it live, you can watch it uh record it because we will leave it in the IGTV and this is my second one also if you have too much and you feel like you have a lot of product in the cuticle you can take my magnetic scrubber like this brush 
this is a very strong brush. And with a strong brush, just wipe the excess off. And then, ta-da, glitter. Do you love glitter? Don't you just love it? And it is much easier than to use it from a jar. That's for sure. Okay, curing this. And I will show you what I've got. So this is my free edge. And this is my cuticle one. Made in seconds. Can you see how even it is? How beautiful is the fade? Very, very beautiful. If you don't like the extra glitters here, you can always take it with a brush off before or even after. Uh, just with a little, a little bit of cuticle pusher. It works perfect. So next thing I wanted to show you is a full coverage. But not only the full coverage is fun. The full coverage in color this one. I am looking for, oh, I lost those things. Here they are. So I took a silver glitter and applied whoop, it's also silver. This one is silver. And this one is silver. It's all the same glitter. But I applied magnetic glass gels on top of the transparent gels. And you can see how many variations you can have. Plus, you can also uh, make the gradient or mix them with each other to get another color, like orange or something, if you need to. So that's a big possibility. So how do you uh, make the full coverage? Again, you made a nail or you prepped the nail for gel polish application. Then you take gel polish base on top. Put the first coat on. And then, let me see the color I'm going to use. Because this was silver. Well, let's, let's use the white gold. I like the white gold. It's probably my new favorite color. Going over the whole nail. Just turning the nail and holding it close by. So what is the difference between application of um, glitter spray like this and, of course, tap and cure? Or a jar, or gl a final thick glitter from a jar, for example, like this. It is not coming as even and... Using a glitter spray, let me switch the camera so you can see me. So, using the glitter spray, there is some speed that the glitter is flying out. And when you have the surface, the glitter flies on and gets stuck. It sticks and it also um, gets stuck in the top gel or the colored gel or whatever gel you're using. So, it will just nicely stick to it. And rather than if you sprinkle, or let just like something mm, scoop it on, on the nail, then it will be too clumsy. It, it will not be even. It will have too much product. And then um, if you want just an even fade, you can just do like this and it will be even. But if you want full coverage, it will be full covered. And now you can see, you can see here, that it is absolutely perfectly straight. I don't know if you can see that. Let me take the excess off. There is absolutely nothing sticking out. So when I will apply the top coat right over it, I don't ha have any bumps that I will have to buff. You know how you apply mm, glitter from the jar and then you, you, like you, you put the top coat on and then you have bumps and you have to file it down to make it even and smooth again, right? So that's the best to use the glitter spray. And the cosmetic grade glitter we have is from Europe. And I also sell it to my clients sometimes when they get it on their nails and toes done, then they can use it on their body for a special event. I had a couple of clients that loved uh, to buy the color. So now I can just top coat it and then I have it how it is. Or I can take a color. Uh, let me see which color I'm going to take. 
Should take green today? Mm, yeah, let's take green. Christmas time, let's do green. So this is glass gels, transparent glass gels by Magnetic. Do you see the beautiful bottles from our new um, gels? Oops. And very, very thin. I can apply just a tiny little bit, for example, like this, and leave it. Use another color from underneath. Or I can apply a little bit thicker. So I already have a fade within one color from thinner to thick, or from thicker to thin, however you like it. But if you apply a little bit thicker on the edge, you can see, I hope you can see that, how fine it is. Let me see if I can, um, saturation. I'm ch trying to change the colors a little bit so you can see it better. Probably like this is good. Can you see it good? Perfect. I have to cure it before it uh, shrinks. Right. Very pretty. So as I said, six colors are applied on top of the clear here. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, hologram uh, silver here. And the one that I'm curing right now is a white gold. And you can see a little bit difference between those two. So here the holographic plays uh, more with the different colors underneath. And this one doesn't. So it's, it's a very beautiful Christmas uh, design. Very easy made, very fast, and you can charge extra because it is already a design. And of course it has sticky layers, so we need to top coat it a little bit. And put it in the lamp. So this is something I already made. And this one is also uh, using the red on top of gold. Red uh, gel polish on top of gold, so it's also solid color rather than holographic. Okay, and this one is cured now. These designs are so easy that I don't want even to spend much of your time, but I will show you a couple more designs. For example, these designs can be done with another type of uh, glitter, for example, this mermaid. Um, uh, glitter it is very fine glitter comes in different shades i will show you all the shades a little bit later and let me see have i done any more today yeah, this is this is also the same glitter but it will be different design um here it is so hard to see in the camera i don't know if you can see that how it shimmers and it it, it has that sugar look sugar effect so basically what i did here i took the uh, matte top gel on top of black and used white liner gel uh, mixed with a little bit of um, whitest white gel polish. And then here I did cover it with a top coat and here I didn't. So here I still can see the shimmer a tiny little bit. But um, let me show you. I'll take a little piece of paper palette. A little bit of the white um, gel and use one of those brushes, either Katerina or Jessica's Choice. Where I am here in the camera. Those are my absolutely must have brushes for any designs. Katerina and Jessica are our um, international educators. Uh, Jessica is in uh, Netherlands and Katerina is in Ukraine. And they are amazing um, in nail art. Like 
how much I like the structure so much. Katerina and Jessica love the nail art. So this way, the liner gel white is not as thick, and it's easier to work with, uh, and the gel, the, the glitter will stick easier to it. Does it make sense? I had a nail somewhere I already prepared. And it already has a matte top coat on top of it. So it is a nail plate extended gel polish with some matte top coat on top of it, I think. So I'm taking the brush and just creating something. It can be curves, um, butterflies or flowers. So let's make a flower. No, flower, it's Christmas. Let's make a, a little jingle bell. What you want to achieve is a little bit of thickness. If you want to use it as a um, sugar look. If you want to use it just as, uh, as a, just a little highlight. Um, how do you call it? Underneath of the top coat, so inside, then you can. Oh, I have an idea how I will make it. So, first, then you I don't have to make it as thick. I will tell it one more time before I confuse you. So, let's see here. I will use a mermaid. Uh, mermaid powder multi. Mermaid powder multi. I have to open all these powders because I left them all in the salon that I sold and didn't open new ones because I don't take lines here. Here you go. So this is most beautiful color. It is uh, it has holographic in it. So just like this and then Tap a little bit to let it sit, sip, and cure. And then I will take a little bit more of the gel. Let me see if it cured. And make the bubble the bow. Take the smaller brush for the bow. And this one I will cover with the red. Let me see, where's the red? Flaming red. That's a perfect one for that. And you can see how nicely it sticks right to that area where I will need it, right? Wait for a second, tap a little bit. I also tap on the client's finger just to make it sure it stays where it's supposed to. And go pure. So that's the wrong lead. That's the right lead. So. And fade. Have you seen what I did? So I took one part of the design with one color and then another part of the design with the other color. So first I did one, cured, and then it was ready. So the glitter will not stick to that old cured gel anymore. And then I make another part. And this way you can even make um, the candy cane. So you make first the green lines, then the red lines, and then the white lines. And it works perfectly. 
Okay. Love glitter sprays, don't you? Let me switch it over and wipe. Here we go. And just using the glit uh, the brush, oh, it didn't cure enough. Unfortunately, it didn't cure enough because it is a liner gel. It needs full cure, and I was in a hurry to show you. So what can I do here? I can, of course, add a little bit more. And hopefully, it will stay better this time. Let's try again. Yeah, that's better. And let's cure. So, okay, now I'm trying to explain you one more thing that I haven't, I tried to explain you again. Uh, if you are making a design that is going to be sugar look, so some, you can make a little bit thicker sausage of you, that your art is a little bit um, thicker outline. And then when you spray the glitter spray, it will cover that from all the sides. And then you will have beautiful volume design that will easily go for four uh, weeks. And if your client feels it's dirty, then ask her just to use the brush. So the brush like this with the soap and water and just clean it. It's not going to go anywhere because the gel is cured by then. And then you can uh, take the... Um, if your client doesn't like that and she, she wants it covered, then you can apply very, very thin and then spray and then top coat it. And then you will still have the same look, but it's not going to be too wavy. Um, yeah, that's what I was trying to explain. And I think I confused you before. Okay, let, let's go back. Where is my camera? Here is my camera. And here we are. That is now better cured, hopefully. Yes, much better. So a little jingle bell. And of course, you can feel it with a different color inside. And it's very, very shiny and sparkly here, and it feels like a sugar look. Okay. So, and next design I'm going to show you. There are not many today. There are not many designs that I wanted to show you. Because I didn't want to hold you for too long. It's Christmas tree. For you and me. Would you like to see this or this tree? Which one do you like more? And which one would you like to see? I think this one is a little bit more complicated than this. Because once I've made this, you will understand how I did this one. What do you think? So I will take a black um, tip or dark background, ideally black, and I will put some extreme uh, matte top coat on top of it. It is very, very, very beautiful uh, matte top coat. If you haven't tried it, you should. Uh, it's a it gives that velour effect. We have two different top coats, one with a sticky layer and one yes, this one without. And Okay, you want both? No problem at all. If you want to see that, I will show you both. Then I will prepare another tip. I will make another one. Um, let's see what backgrounds I have. Now I will just take the black one. That's just easier. And you can play with your colors um, yourself. Okay. And cure. This lamp is too small for these big tips if they're not stick if they're not uh, deep enough. What am I doing again? I'm taking liner gel white.
And again, mix it with a little bit of uh, whitest white gel polish to keep the liner gel a little bit thinner or the gel polish a little bit thicker. It's perfect consistency. And one of them is ready here though. So let's start with uh, actually this one. I'm using the Ultim Ultra Designer, Ultimate Designer brush. Um, Ultra? Ultra Designer, Ultimate Designer. Oh my God. Uh, 176001. Uh, 000. That's the number of the brush. I'm, um, <laughs> I know my products by numbers. It's a little triangle brush, perfect for 3D gel and acrylic. Some left black gel polish. Just like this, a little triangle brush. So I'm taking a little bit of product on both of the sides of the brush. Can you see that what I'm doing? Put the brush flat on the nail. And twist it up. This one actually turned out very, very large. That was too slow. One more time. Put it flat with the with the edge and get up. It's a little like a little cat kitten with a tongue, you know, just like put it on and twist up. On and twist up. Make sure that your uh, lines don't connect. And you end in the tip, like a little tip. If you cannot, then just like this. Actually, I like it a little bit thicker here. And of course, just because it's Christmas and you ask for, I will make a snowflake. Let me actually put the glass, my glasses on. Okay. Snowflake has six ends. So I'm twisting my brush in the gel. And then it is very, very thin. And then almost not touching. Just very carefully. Apply from the center to the sides the lines so that they are oops they're sharp on the end like this not a very big um snowflakes painter like also small ones very easy ones like this And here, actually, I can just make tap, 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 like a snow. There you go. How easy is that? Um, because it's such a big tip, I had to add here something, right? I'm taking again the Mermaid uh, Glitter, and I will take again the most beautiful one, which is multicolored. Tap, tap, tap and spray it all over. Just very, very slow. You see, I'm not pushing the whole thing. I'm just getting tiny little bit out. 
Because if I push the whole thing, it just goes everywhere and it doesn't make any sense. I'm just tapping, tapping, tapping. And go here. Um, what I was talking about, I wanted to show you what kind of um, mermaid colors we have. We have, oh, this is, this is a price tag. Shouldn't be on it. Let me show you how this open it. Yeah. This one is red gold. Oh, let me see if you can. It looks white for you, doesn't it? Can you see the difference between those two? Probably not. This one is blue-green. You can see a little bit of the shimmer on the bottle itself. This one is red-gold and you cannot see any shimmer here. Probably not. Anyways, um, just believe me. Red-gold, uh, blue-green, and... The more um, multicolored I already showed you. And there should be somewhere one more color. Blue green, multicolored. There should be red. No, uh, blue green and purple blue, I think, or purple green or something. So one is more blue, one is more purple. Okay, once this is cured. Yes, one look more pearl. Yeah, the pearl one is more, uh, the this one. It has because I'm using it. It has a little bit um, on on the bottle. But I will try to take a picture and send you um, post it in in Instagram. So I'm taking off the glitter because the this is the the multicolored and it's also you cannot probably see the difference. Because of the light here, the light is so um, good or bad, however, it is complicated to make the light so you can see everything. And this is shimmering. I don't know if you can see that. Most likely you can't. Let me see if I can show you in the frontal camera. Mm -mm, doesn't focus at all. No, nope, it doesn't focus. How about the colors? No, the colors also don't focus. No, nah, forget about it. Let's continue working. I will I will post pictures on my Instagram uh, and at Magnetic Shop. Just check them out. So, and now I'm taking the green gel polish, the transparent green, again, and apply it where I need it or on the whole nail. Well, since I have the snowflakes, and I don't want them to be green, I don't apply the transparent polish on top of them. So I'm just using it where I need it. Just here. Cure it a little bit. And then if you like, you can take a brush, uh, even um, ombre brush. Very careful, touch it up in the gel. And put some snow on top of it. Just on top of every branch. And because the green uh, gives a little bit of the volume, it, it, this design already looks very deep, even though it's very flat. That transparency gives enough depth, and it's very cool. Plus that glitter and shimmer underneath, and it's very easy. Okay, cure, and then we will top coat that one. Here again, I also, as I said, like to wipe off if there's any residue left from the matte top gel. And now I will make this design here. So the branch you can pick as you like. 
and make a branch. So branch has a main line. You can have one here. One there. If you add one more, then you also need to add here more. But don't forget about the flow of the um, of the design. Um, so let me let me do this. Put it in the lamp, and then I will explain you one more time about the flow. And I'm taking the clean brush. Just clean it and. Add a little bit. And that thick lines, I'm just wiping down. So they will be still sticky. See, from the edge of that line, and try to make sure that the lines are the same and direct going in the same direction so not sticking out of the branch but more going closer to the branch right to the um, core line just like that and i will use what am I gonna, let, let's try gold. I haven't tried gold for this design. Now we'll just use a little bit of gold, not ever covering everything. But actually just a little bit. Oh, it's just pretty how it is. Just like that. Reminds me of my childhood. I will tell you in Instagram what, what my mom did for me. That's a funny thing. Christmas story. Uh, okay, so um, why did I switch on to myself? I don't know. I actually wanted to draw you something. Paper is here. And let's draw you something. A little bit theory, as you know, there's nothing without the theory. If you have a branch, you want the, um, um, sorry, the girl's asking. So it's dry, not wet glitter. Yes, it's absolutely dry glitter. It's a regular glitter and it is dry. So the, the form of application is the spray bottle and this is what makes it unique. Plus the color is absolutely amazing. I will show you later. So when you make those little lines, you want them to stick out in the same direction like this. If you make here one more, you can already see how awkward it is. So you either need to add here one or even here more. But as you see, they all go along this line. What you don't want to do is if you have a branch, you don't want to draw them. Like one like this, but then like this. Right? So always try to get them along just like that. Does it make sense? I hope so. Something that will make your designs uh, very um, elegant. Uh, we'll get back to this. So here now I'm taking uh, the, actually the brush first. Let me to add a little bit more light. 
No, it's going to make the stupid lines here. I'm taking the green again. The camera is awkward. It's under the angle, so I'm a little bit confused. And go in the center and the top. Getting a little bit thicker at the top. A little bit thin to, uh, thinner to the bottom. Then I'm taking my yellow, yellow glass transparent gel polish. And go from the bottom to the top. Before I go back into the jar, or into the bottle, of course, I make sure I take off any green of there. And of course, you can take a clean brush if you have one handy. Look at me, I never have one handy. Here you go. And you can blend them if you need to, because I have here a little, looks like a bump. I wanted to kind of even it out so the top gel doesn't uh, get wa wa wavy on the side. Oh my God. There you go. And of course, it doesn't have to be Christmas tree. You can do anything with that. In the spring, you can do grass or um, Easter bunnies or whatever. So let's cure that and come back here and top coat this one. I feel like rhinestones, but today it's not about rhinestones. And here again, uh, but this time I will not take the ombre brush. I will just take the Katerina's brush. Just so you see, I can do that with that brush too, just like this. Little, a little bit of snow powder. Like laying on top of the branch, right? Just on one side always. Again, it gives it extra little bit of dimension. And as soon as I add something extra like this and color, yeah, I would charge extra. So probably the branch itself with the glitter spray, I wouldn't charge anything if it's solid color nail. But if they, if I wanted to make a little bit more complicated, I will charge extra. Very easy. You can even hang some. Um, Christmas, uh, the, the tree um, ornaments, right? And let's cure this one. This one is ready. If you have any questions, you can start preparing the questions and asking me the questions because I will just now show you the colors that we have and probably finish. And then we will done, we'll be done within an hour and I will make some announcements. So what else have we got? This is Ochre, ochre gold. O ochre gold? Anyways, it is kind of yellowish gold. Like ochre. This one is pink blossom. This is blue periwinkle. And it is actually more blue than it shows in the camera. I will have to take more pictures. This here is still black. It's black, black, very beautiful black. Um, it has that still look to it in, in, and it looks very cool in um, sugar look. So if you just put it on. Uh, glitter bronze, so it's a bronze gold. 
hologram pink. I think I have more colors in the web shop, so you can just um, order them. And this one is a holographic purple. See the hologram effect. And the other ones I showed you already myself. The white gold is my absolutely runner this season. So basically, I can just take off. There's some, oops, there's some extras and top coat it. Or you can top coat just the tree. So it's shiny, but everything else stays matte. That will also work. But only the shine will give you that effect that you can see the glitter inside. So it's actually sparkling underneath of the green. And then on top of that, you have that white dot. And believe me, these cameras cannot show how beautiful it is in real life. So I get the comment. I don't like leaders because it's so messy, but it's not messy. I like the idea. So I was working um, here today for you. You see me working here, not changing anything. There was no cut and anything. And basically, this is all I've got. Is that a little bit of extra. But I'm also working underneath of the camera, which is a little bit not handy. And if you have your table vent, and this goes above your table vent, it will be just going inside. And it's not messy at all. Just a tiny little bit. And people think that the glitter spray is uh, a mess, and it's not. Here I am again. Um, I don't need glasses when I'm talking. So uh, the glitter sprays, um, if you, you can, you could, you, you've seen how I was doing it. If you are working like this, it will spray the, the whole thing. So when I am going out, I am taking like this, but then I go over my hair and body and whatever. But if I uh, need to apply it on a very thin little nail, a uh, thin, not wide, right? Uh, narrow, narrow little nail. Then I go closer and just like this. Can you see? Yes, you can see. Just like this. And it will just give as much as I need. So don't do like, foo, foo, foo. oh yeah, it's so messy. It, it will be messy if you go like this, right? But as I, you've seen what I was doing. I haven't done anything special. I was using it as I'm always using it. And I love video sprays. Absolutely. I absolutely love it. Okay, my announcements. I am offering Zoom classes, as you probably seen already on my website. Zoom classes are with maximum six people. Um, so I can see you working. You will need your cell phone or a tablet or a computer with a camera if you have that possibility. So I can see you working and you can see me working. So basically, it would be you working on yourself and me seeing what you're doing. So I can watch you and give you my feedback. So it's pretty much like a real class and it's not super expensive. And um, um, Cindy is asking if I am selling in Canada. Yes, I am in Victoria, BC. Uh, well, basically, Souk, BC. And I am selling in Canada in Canadian dollars. My shop is in Canadian dollars. Uh, Nadia Beauty. Um, NadiaBeauty.com slash shop, or you can find their link to the online shop at Nadia Beauty. And um, if you're in the USA, uh, you can go on my shop and choose the currency. And it's it checks the currency for the day, the exchange rate, and it's uh, you can shop in American dollars if it's more convenient for you than shopping in Canadian dollars. So we accept now US and Canadian dollars together. What else? Um, we started with Natalia, as I said on the beginning, um, little uh, talks about the product. So we already did about the new rubber bases versus uh, fiber coats. So you can watch that and we explain what product will, when you use when, and the rubber bases are coming very soon. Also, uh, next week we will talk about top gels because we have 10 of them or something. And sometimes I'm even getting lost. Of course, I know when, where, where, what to use when and what for, but we need to categorize it better. 
And so we will probably just continue doing that. So if you have any questions, I am uh, I have my Nadia's Nail Talk where I answer the questions. So I'm just going live on YouTube, and um, on Instagram and YouTube, and have my week talk where I answer the question. And I have once a month webinars like this. So if you if you uh, registered for this webinar and push the button, automatically register for next ones. Once I am announcing webinar, you automatically get an email um, with um, date and link to it. So you automatically get registered for the next one if you put the check mark in your registration. Um, so that's a big webinar with Natalia. We make Instagram and everything is on my YouTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I really, really, really need your support for that. Um, what else? That's pretty much everything. So the girls say thank you. And I thank you very much for being here, for watching until the end. Um, Nadia Beauty, you can find all the information there on Instagram. It's Magnetic Shop. And on Facebook, you can find me personally as Nadia Freund or Nadia Beauty Nail Academy and supplies. That's it. I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful Christmas time. If I don't see you before, but I'm sure I will. So I wish you a good evening and till next week. See ya. I can do that. My camera doesn't transfer. Mm, thank you, Nadia. Can this be rewatched? Absolutely. You can use the same link to rewatch it if you registered for the webinar or uh, pretty much tonight or oh, tomorrow it will be on YouTube. So you can rewatch it on YouTube in open source anytime. Like free webinars are usually available on YouTube if everything goes right. Okay. But um, the, uh, the thing I'm using for webinars is recording everything and it's pretty safe because it's expensive. Okay. See you. Thanks for being with me this evening and stay warm.